Hi there. This is Hans Grimal, the Asia editor for Automotive News. I'm speaking to you today from the rebranded Tokyo Motor Show. Uh, from 2023, it's reconvening here in the uh, Jap Japanese uh, capital city as the Japan Mobility Show after a four-year hiatus because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And um, it's back with a vengeance. Uh, this year, this show runs through November 4th. And the organizers, the Japan Automobile Manufacturers Association, wants to attract 1 million visitors this time. They're going to have music festivals. They're going to have uh, acres of tr uh, food trucks. They're going to have uh, uh, attracting uh, IT companies, uh, AI companies. Uh, they're going to have a startup festival. And then they have a host of different mobility companies of all, cast, uh, all sizes and shapes from little scooters up to uh, a big r robots and automated vehicles. So uh, they really hope to kind of uh, generate a new buzz this year. Uh, and of course they have cars, 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 as you can see behind me here at the Nissan stand. Uh, what I'm gonna do today is walk you through some of the highlights of the show, and we're gonna take a look at uh, some of the uh, new cars and the concepts on display. So if you're in Tokyo, uh, you still have through November 5th to uh, check this out. Uh, well, let's go take a look at the cars. Uh, BMW has uh, brought out the uh, world debut on the, the iX2 here. It's a new all-electric um, uh, uh, EV crossover. It's rare for a, uh, OEM, a, a an overseas OEM to even to be at the Japan Motor Show these days, but uh, BMW went a step further by actually having a global debut here, and this is what we have to, to show here. It's a, it's a compact crossover that might fit the, even the Japanese market here. Honda is reviving the Prelude, popular Prelude uh, nameplate uh, as a hybrid this time. This was a very popular nameplate. I think it discontinued production in 2001, and it's coming back as a uh, as a hybrid, at least for Japan. Maybe other markets they say it'll be a global car. This is a look at how it will uh, appear. It's got the pointy nose and the and the fastback, as a, and it keeps the coupe uh, the sporty coupe styling. One vehicle that I wasn't able to bring to you here from the Japan Mobility Show is the Infinity Vision QE. And that's because simply Infinity doesn't exist as a brand here in Japan at its home market with its parent company, Nissan Motor Company. Nonetheless, it showed the, uh, the Vision QE the night before the press day. It's a beautiful, sleek, uh, elegant uh, sedan, all electric sedan that it previews the, uh, the upcoming uh, EVs that it's promising to be built in the United States. It's the Vision and the preview of the next generation of electric cars that will come to us from Lexus. It's called the LF, the CC, the C stands for zero, C stands for catalyst, so zero emission catalyst. This will be coming out, uh, Lexus promises, in 2026, and it uses a completely new platform and a completely new manufacturing techniques. It's what Lexus hopes will make it adult marks competitive with uh, likes of Tesla going forward. As you can tell by the crowds here in the Mazda stand, it's one of the most popular show-stealing cars. It's the iconic SP. It's a vision for perhaps a, a next-generation RX a sports car or an MX-5 Miata. It's a be beautiful. It's the first concept done under the new, uh, under the, the brand's new uh, desi global design chief. Uh, it looks as good from the top as it does from the blue sides, and that's one reason that uh, Mazda added this uh, viewing stand up high so you can look down on the car and appreciate its form from all directions. This little sweet piece of eye candy is, comes courtesy of Toyota. It's called the FTSE. It's a vision and a preview of what they hope will be a uh, all-wheel drive, all-electric sports car. This could be debuting on the new uh, all-electric platform that has been revised by Toyota for the uh, post-2036 time frame. It's a uh, beautiful picture. 